Erica Alexander was born in Winslow in 1969, but she grew up in Philadelphia. In 1993, Alexander began playing the sour voice lawyer Maxine Shaw on the Fox sitcom Living Single. Fans may now see her on Run the World and the American drama Wu Tang. The outstanding actress history is as distinctive as the roles she has played. She previously spoke to The Breakfast Club about her background and the enigmatic nature of her family, revealing that both her father and grandmother were healers who dabbled in witchcraft. She divulged information about her experiences in Hollywood during the conversation. She revealed details of her time working with Bill Cosby, revealing that she was close to a victim. She has never been a victim and hasn't encountered any Me Too moments when working with him. She remembers seeing things that at the time she seemed harsh but did not question, since she had grown up in a terrible society. The biggest celebrity in the world, she continues. I think when he's not just making television, he's making mercy television. After a long time, things start to get to you, and you forget who you are and that you're the representative of your audience. She continues by saying that she was surprised by the person she observed behind the scenes. Sadly, at age 35, her father would get ill and finally passed away. Alexander claimed she made up with him before he passed away, since her father wasn't a very compassionate man. She predicted that when he was dying, he would wonder why God hadn't killed him like he had so many others. She continues by claiming that her grandma was a witch and died as a result of witchcraft. She used to hang silly gopher dust over her cafe's entrance to charm passers-by during the day. To compete with nearby witches, she would move further south in search of ever more potent ingredients for her voodoo. She frequently left Alexander's father behind and at one time, a Mexican family took him in. One time after returning from a trip, her grandma was severely ill. When she returned, they reported that she was curled up, her head wedged between her knees, and barking like a dog. The residents of the town set to work in an effort to heal her, and they succeeded. Sadly, she made the decision to return again on one of her trips, and did not survive to return. Alexander replied, they brought her back in a box. What do you think of Erica Alexander's sad story? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell to stay updated with the latest news about Erica Alexander. Thank you for watching the whole video.